Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 and 5 tutorial. So in today's video what we're going to be going over is an auto run system in which the player can just press one button, in my example it's going to be equals, and then that will be a toggle for them to either run or not run. So this can be both running or walking, whatever it is that you want to set up. So let me hit play and show you what we're going to make today. So if I'm just standing here I can press equals or one button and we're now going to be running in whatever direction the player is currently looking at. So this is very useful for multiple reasons. Let's say the player needs to run a very long distance in the game. What they can do is just press the button, look where they want to go, and then they can do their own thing. They can go on their phone, they can go make a sandwich, whatever it is they want to do. And this has been used in quite a lot of games. One example where I've especially seen it is in PUBG. There's an auto run feature, so it doesn't even have to be a massive game, or sorry, a game with a massive map or anything along those lines. It's just something quite useful to have. So the player can just press this button and have it run instead so they don't even need to go anywhere it might be so it's easier to toggle it instead of then simply having to hold it constantly for the whole time so this is what we're going to be going over and creating today so without further ado let me delete this code and i'll show you how i've done it i should also say when i press it again it stops running obviously so the first thing we want to do is open up our character blueprint so for me that's going to be control space content third person blueprints third person character in here very simply, what we're going to do is right click and get the button which you want to press. So for me, that is going to be equals, obviously you can choose whatever button you want. And out of pressed, what we're going to do is go into a flip flop, because we want this to be a toggle, not a hold. That's what a flip flop does, it toggles between the values of A and B. A, so the first time we press it, we want to set timer, if I can spell it correctly, by event, so set timer by event there like so. What we're going to do is set the time to be 0.01 so it's happening very very quickly so it's very smooth and we're also going to tick looping so it's going to loop this so it's going to be constantly doing what we want. Then we're going to drag out of event and add a custom event naming this auto run as that is what we're doing and then out of the custom event here is where we're actually going to be running. So what we can do is very simply find our movement code which we already have by default and that is here. We're going to select get control rotation, get forward vector and add movement input off of the move forward backward input axes up here. Then very simply come back over here and hit control V to paste it. So if I didn't mention it then we need to copy it obviously, sorry if I didn't say that. And once you've done that we can just connect that in here straight away. Now you might notice that obviously the scale value now isn't connecting into our axes value that we have over here. That's fine because the axes value it's just depending on if we want to go forwards or backwards but with auto run we only want to go forwards so we're going to leave the scale value as one now if you've got a walking and sprinting system set up and you want this to sprint what you will need to do is set your movement speed but first so if you've got a function for start sprinting put that here if you don't what you can do is just get your character movement and set max walk speed as you normally would setting that here so the player is then running and it's that simple that is now setting up auto running however we obviously want to be able to cancel this as well so what I'm going to do is move this down ever so slightly and then out of the return value of the set timer by event we want to clear and invalidate timer by handle disconnecting the execution there and then putting this into B of the flip-flop so when we press it again we're going to cancel it and that is all this does that just stops this timer by event which will stop playing this custom event here nice and simply like so. Now if you've obviously just gone ahead and done the set movement speed or start sprinting before your auto run as well, you want to make sure you stop sprinting here before clearing and invalidating it so the movement speed goes back to normal for when the next time the player starts walking again. So I hope that all makes perfect sense. And it's that simple, that's all we need to do. So we can now compile, save and close that, hit play and we'll test out you see we can still walk as normal like you should here by pressing W, A, S and D. But if I to press equals, we're going to just start running in the direction the player is looking at. So again, they can just point their mouse instead of having to hold W as well. Press it again, we're going to stop and I can do this as many times as I want. It's going to work perfectly. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we want to do. What we've done is we've set up an auto run system in which we can just basically toggle when we're either running or not running so we don't have to constantly hold it down as you normally would. So thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful and if you did make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.